Hi guys, back with another video for you today here with Lola Sense, and we have a review for Francesca Bianchi's new Under My Skin, and we're also doing a full bottle giveaway worldwide, all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. This is Lola with Lola Sense. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching videos here and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And that's right, today we have a review for Francesca Bianchi's Under My Skin. Under My Skin is her fourth fragrance. She has three others. One's called Angel's Dust. The other one's called Sex and the Sea. And then finally, the last one is The Dark Side. So this is her interpretation of the animalic fragrance. Hi guys, I'm Francesca Bianchi and uh, this is my first uh, year uh, exhibiting uh, in uh, Pitti Fragranze. I launched my brand uh, one year ago and uh, I launched three, three fragrances. Uh, one is uh, Angel's Dust, which is a very feminine uh, one, powdery, rosy. Then uh, the Sex and the Sea, which is the craziest, uh, that smells like uh, burnt skin at the, at the seaside. And then you have the Dark Side, which is uh, the more oriental, woody, intense. Uh, this year I have presented a new one in, uh, here at Pitti, which is Under My Skin. It's still a very sensual, intimate scent, but it's a leathery, uh, powdery, uh, musky, slightly animalic. I hope uh, you will like it. Um, my brand uh, is, uh, well, I'm the only person working for my company and I am the creator and the producer also of my person. So I create a concentrate and I make, uh, I filter it and uh, I take care of packaging and of uh, shipping. So it's all done uh, by myself in my laboratory in Amsterdam. Let me tell you the notes in this fragrance. So in the top, you've got grapefruit, lavender, black pepper and spices. In the heart, you've got Bulgarian rose, carnation, iris butter. In the base, you've got musk, castorium, ambergris, leather record, costas, tonka bean, tolu balsam, peru balsam, sand doll, mysore, vanilla, tree moss. A lot going on in this fragrance, and it's a very, very unique fragrance. And if you're into the animalic fragrances, this one's going to really appeal to you. And so, are you familiar with animalic fragrances? Do you like them? Uh, I like them in small doses. Small doses. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Some of them can be quite challenging, so. Yeah, I remember we did the Oud video, uh, the Oud, uh, no wait, not the Oud one. What was the other video we did for the Spirit of Dubai? Yeah. And that Oud was pretty... Skanky. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty <laughs> rough. But here, it's not necessarily, with Under My Skin, it's not necessarily the skanky uh, kind of uh, animalic. This is more musky, more kind of like a body, like it smells like a... Sexual. <laughs> so it smells like sex to me, actually. Um, the fragrance, once you apply it on and it, once it's kind of developing on you, I start realizing that you're in the middle of having sex with clothes on and the leather and kind of like, I don't know, jackets mixing together all that kind of stuff. So it's a very, very unique fragrance. So here in this fragrance, iris or oris butter is king. Uh, that's one of the main things I smell, along with the musk and the leather. And then slowly after those notes are appear, you start noticing some of the other notes. But it's very, very, I don't know how to say this, but like, let's say you're in the middle of having um, a sexual encounter with a woman with lipstick on. I pick up like this, Lipstick, uh, rubbing against clothes, um, I don't know, what a are your thoughts? A little bit, I can see that. I, I don't think I get as much of the iris as you do. Okay. I'm, I'm getting more of the what's in the base, um, the sweetness in the base. Oh, so, wow. And the resins and the vanilla. And, okay. So are you into the sweet fragrances or you're not into I am. You like gourmands, I thought. I love gourmands, yes. So that those stand out more for you? They stand out more but also mixed with that muskiness, the skin scent, and the little saltiness too. Okay. So the saltiness comes from the castorium. Uh, no, not the castorium, the ambergris. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I hardly pick up any of the castorium in here. I don't know if, it's, if no. you're picking that up. But definitely musk. It's musky. Yeah. The other note that's also now coming through is the, um, the sandalwood. The sandalwood. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Yeah, well, to me, it's, it's almost like, um, I don't know, 
It's, it, it's a, I don't know, it's a pornographic fragrance for me. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I smell it, pornographic visuals appear in my mind. <laughs> I don't know why. That could be a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I, it, I get that too. It's very pornographic for some odd reason. But do you think this is equally unisex? Do you think it's more feminine leaning or is it masculine leaning? No, I think it's definitely equally unisex. I can't picture a difference, male or woman. Okay. This doesn't lean any certain and, gender. And what do you think um, the audience watching here that are not familiar with Francesca Bianchi fragrances that know like fragrances like Dior Homme, Dior Homme Parfum that uses iris, do you think something like this would appeal to them? I don't know. They'd have to be really comfortable with these more animalic musk scents. Because this isn't something you'd find in any kind of designer. Not designer. <laughs> Definitely not designer. Yeah. And also, it's, 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 it's quite... Um, I don't know the word edgy, but it's, it's, it's not necessarily like mass market. No, no, no. no. So this isn't something you're going to go to a department store and oh, find no. out. No, Sex shop, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> this definitely has a, a niche audience. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, uh, when I first tried the fragrance in, in Pitti in, um, in uh, Florence, I, I hadn't really experienced it just on its own because at the event you were like experiencing all the different fragrances. Yeah. But when I started experiencing the fragrance on its own, it just became something completely different. Like, it's its own beast. Like, there's some visuals I've seen on Francesca Bianchi's uh, Instagram account. Some people have put on these, like, fur, like, almost like bear, like, uh, fur uh, suits, and they've photographed the fragrance with, the, with that kind of a suit on. It's almost... Oh, like furries? Furries. <laughs> well, not necessarily furries, but kind of, sort of. Okay. It's, it's just, I, I, I do definitely visualize something like that. There lots of, like... <laughs> something erotic. Well, I, yeah, I don't find that erotic, personally. <laughs> it's kind of actually a turnoff for me. <laughs> but I'm just saying, um, I think it was a great way to photograph the scent for Instagram. It's got that, yeah. like... Oh, yeah. A real skin, but like animalic fur covered on. It's, it's a, mm -hmm. I visualize that kind of stuff with this fragrance. Yeah. How is it, how is it developing on you? I sprayed it on my skin a while ago, and I don't get any of that sweetness that I get. So it's more this. sweet on the strip. Mm -hmm. On you, how is it? On small? skin, it's more, less sweet. It's, it's a little lipsticky on you. A little bit, yeah. yeah? A little bit. A little bit. What are your, what are your thoughts about iris or iris butter in general. Do you like that note? I like that note. Yeah. You do? I don't have too many fragrances with the note of iris, but I do like it. You do like in it? In moderation. Mm -hmm. So those people that are like into musks, do you think this is a fragrance to recommend to Definitely. them? Definitely. Yeah. And then also, what do you think about the name under my skin? Is that like a, a, a great uh, representation for the fragrance? I think so. I totally under think so. Skin. Yeah. Because it's, it's very skin-like. It's a... Uh, because you have to get close to somebody to smell their skin. And this is the kind of skin that's very like pornographic, as I was saying, dirty. Not necessarily skanky, but just body. Yeah, you're not gonna get that close to anyone. Yeah, <laughs> unless you're having sex with unless them. You're, you're not gonna smell this unless you're really intimate with somebody. Yeah. And the other thing is, uh, Lauren hasn't really worn this, but I've worn it several times, and the performance with this is out of this world. It's like so thick it stays on you for a long time so it's an all-day experience and you have to be in this kind of a mood to experience it and so um that's a good thing with uh, this kind of a fragrance the fragrances are sold at indiesense.com currently um, i didn't see a price for this particular fragrance on indiesense but the other fragrances that we mentioned are retailing for 125 dollars again these are extrait de parfum on Franche Francesca Bianchi's website, they're 98 euros per bottle. So I, I was assuming it's going to be the same price. Yeah. All four of them are the mm -hmm. same. Any last things you want to mention about uh, Under My Skin? Um, well, how I want to know how it projects on you. Because on me, it's kind of weird because it is it has all those strong notes, but it's kind of a skin scent. It's, it's definitely not, a skin scent. It I doesn't. Mean, it's not screaming. It's not loud. No, 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 no. It doesn't scream. It's more... I mean, to me, when you read the notes, it sounds like it's going to project yeah. a lot, but it's, it's not. It doesn't. I think that iris butter, which is, to me, the most dominant thing in here, kind of keeps it, it you know, like down more. Yeah. It doesn't jump out at me. I don't know. That's my opinion. No, I like it. Yeah. Cool. 
Guys, uh, do you want to participate in the giveaway for Under My Skin One Full Bottle Worldwide Giveaway? Thanks to Francesca Bianchi. Just please put down a, a comment and let me know what your favorite skin scents are or what your favorite musk scents are or maybe your favorite animalic fragrances are. Please, please put that down and make sure you're subscribed. Also, please put down what country you're commenting from so that we know. Uh, and that's it. Good luck with the giveaway. Good Thank luck. you for this video. Glad you came by. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button below. And also, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.